Hi guys, I'm um, doing a stream tonight of Vivid Voltage. I've only got eight packs of Vivid Voltage to open tonight, but I also have some Champions Path. We've got an Elite Trainer box, which I will show in the camera, but unfortunately it's not far enough really away to see the whole thing. We've got, I think, all of the pin collections. So you've got six of those. Which I'll try show off on the camera as well. So we'll get started with the Viv Voltage just to check that everything's sort of working as I've only got eight of those. Um, and then we'll move on probably to the ETB and show that off a bit. Um, and then we'll open some of the pin collections. So let's get started, see what we can get. Please subscribe, well, follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I can't obviously do subscriptions to Twitch yet, I'm still quite new. Card. Fourth in the back. Steel energy. A beauty. Try to get rid of that glare. A shuckle. A nuzleaf. A dust skull. Electric. Pineco. A mud break. A pichina. Ooh, Jirachi Amazing Rare, which is. I think the only one we're missing, which is nice for the collection, put him at the back for now, and a whimsy cot. That's a good start. Uh, I think we've got three or four of every uh, amazing rare, so it's a good one to get. Um, we'll open up some more, see what else we can get. Hopefully, we get some nice pulls. I'll try not show the um, code card color because obviously that gives away if I'm getting anything good or not, but. There's a code card. Fourth in the back. We've got a grass energy. A dust clops. A rocky helmet. A Gavantula. A Wubat. A Taylo. A Charmander. A Wupa. Larry Meowth, a reverse Banette, which I'm not sure if I need or not, and a Dom fan. Not very exciting, just a plain old Dom fan. I will be maybe testing the water if I can do a trading stream, um, see if people want to potentially trade cards for other certain cards. I've got a lot of Shining Fates. Um, amazing rares, uh, different shinies that I'd like. We're 45 or 46 away for, from a complete collection, so it'd be good to maybe see if we can trade some cards to get different cards. So, co card. Fourth in the back. Got psychic energy. A pinturin. A Trumbeak, a Nessa, a Rockruff, a Blitzel, a Skiddo, a Ferro Seed, a Dedenny, a Pinger in Reverse, and a Crap Block. So far, not so good. We've still got five packs to go, so we might get something, but uh, these were from a local news agent, so just sort of what they had left. So we'll see what we can get. It's a code card. If anyone wants it. I don't play the online TCG, so they're wasted on me. You might as well have them. I will be doing a code card giveaway. I've got probably 200 in a box. that so I'll be doing a stream just giving code cards away over and over again. So tune in for that one if you can. There's a dark type energy. A swallow. A Zib Striker, a Dusclops, a Sandal, a Welma, a Weedle, a Beldum, a Fanfi, a Reverse Opal, and a Vaporeon Regular Rare. Not the best pool so far, but they come and go. 
got four packs of every voltage left and then we'll move on to champion's path and see what we can get in champion's path <coughs> Tough pack to open. It's a code card if anyone wants it. Or from the back, we have a fire energy, a memory capsule, a giraffic, electric, a Charmander, a Chatot, a Joltic, a Cottony, a Mudbury. A reverse Durancy and a Talonflame V. Quite a common card, the Talonflame V. Got quite a few of those now. Um, again, if I ever do a trading stream, might be something that we can set up sort of in the future. We've got three packs of Vivid Voltage left, and then we'll move on to Champion's Path. There's a code card if anyone wants it. Four from the back. A Ninjask. Okay. Maybe I miscounted. <laughs> Fighting Energy. A Memory Capsule. A Go Goat. A Ferrothorn. A Rock Ruff. A Wisma. A Trubbish. A Tynamo. A Clobopus. And a reverse beedle. So yeah, definitely miscounted. <laughs> Two packs left. There's a code card if anyone wants it. Again, I will be doing a just a code card stream because I've got quite a few built up. Um, so it'll just be me showing code cards and people can help themselves to them. There's a water energy. A Swallow, a Wash Energy, a Charmeleon, a Cottony, an Aracuda, a Nincada, a Piggy Peck, a Puccina, a Reverse Swallow, and a Zygarde Hollow. I think I need the Zygarde Reverse still for the collection, but again, this hasn't been the best opening of Viv Voltage so far. There's only one pack left, and the only sort of good card we had so far as this Jirachi which I actually needed so that's a good start it's a code card if anyone needs it four from the back fighting energy a Crocorock an Exadrill a Beer a Drillba, an Oshawott, a Duskull, a Ferriseed, a Riaulu, a Reverse Hollow Milsery, and a regular Bascurada. So we'll move on to Champion's Path now. Um, I've got six pin collections and an ETB. We might as well start with the ETB because I've done ETBs before. I have not, however, done the pins before. So uh, in case people haven't seen an ETB before, you get the player's guide, which has got your full list in the back, which won't fit in my camera, but I'll just give you a quick flick through. Um, obviously, the main cards you're looking for in this set is the Charizard. You can see them both sort of on the right there. I don't have either of the Charizards from this set. I haven't opened too many of Champions Path either, so we will open it up and see what we can get. Um, inside the ETB, which stands for Elite Trainer Box, in case there's anyone here that's not obviously collected Pokemon cards before, you get 10 packs, which you put to one side. You get your dice and your damage counters and poison counters, bits and pieces. Your game rules, which a lot of people may not play the game. So that, again, I don't personally. I just collect the cards. So it's not really worth a lot of thing. You get the sleeves, which are nice sleeves. Um, I'm getting quite low, so that's a nice little top up. You get... Ooh. your big wad of energies which my daughter ends up with so she's got a huge Pokemon collection she's only four but she's got every single energy card that we get pretty much other than sort of reverses and one of each just for the folder you get your card separators which you can use in the ETU box to sort things out 
and you get your promo Charizard, which is again a very nice card. Got quite a few of these. Um, so if I did ever do a trade stream, potentially we could sort of trade promos for promos and amazing rares for amazing rares, etc., etc. So that's not a not a bad collection you get from one little ETB. Um, they're quite hard to find now, uh, but if you can find them, it might be worth a pick up if you're thinking of collecting. It's got quite a small set for a Champions Path, so we'll see what we can get in these. The code card doesn't matter in Champions Path because no matter what, you're guaranteed a hollow. There's your code card if anyone wants it. Four from the back. Got Dark Energy. Appears. A suspicious food tin, which I believe comes as a gold card. A Sonya. A Glaring the Noon. A Full Hill. A Purloin. A Kakuna. A Trubbish. A Potion Reverse. And a Professor's Research. These cards aren't great. You, most people open them just for the Charizards. Um, there's quite a few nice cards in the set, but again, the fact that there's only sort of 12 hollows, I think it is, and you get them all pretty much <laughs> very quickly. There's a code card. Okay, four from the back. We've got a grass energy, a hop, a beedrill, a hatton, a scraggy, a roly coly, a nicket. An Ekans, a Kavana, a Machamp Reverse, ooh, and a Hop Full Up, which is a very nice card. I don't think we've got this one, but we may have. So, it's a nice card either way. Full Arts are a lot harder to pull in this set, so unfortunately that may be the only Full Art we get from this ETB, but still a nice card. We'll open this up now, see what we can get in the next few packs. This pack wasn't very sealed. <laughs> If I'm honest. The code card, if anyone wants it. Four from the back. Water energy. A beedrill. A rotom phone. A Milo. A Scraggy. A Rock Rough. A Vulpix. A Glare and a Loon. A Full Hill. Suspicious Food in Reverse. And Eldegross V, which is another pull, I guess. Not a great card. Some people like Eldegross. I think it just looks like a big dandelion. <laughs> There's not a lot to it. There's a code card, <clears throat> if anyone wants it. Four from the back. got Dark Energy, Absol, which is a very nice card, I like Absol, a Rotom Bike, a Machoke, a Sizzlepeed, a Hatiana, a Nicket, an Inke, a Rody Cody, a Reverse Rockruff, ooh, and a Dreadnought VMAX, which again, I don't think I have, so this ETB's been quite nice so far, it's probably going to go downhill from now, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get some nice pulls. My daughter will love that card. She's actually got a pet tortoise, so. We've got six packs left to go. Ooh, I see a border of sorts. It's a code card. Four from the back. Got a lightning energy, a hyper potion, shark pedo, a suspicious food tin, inke, a roly coly, a sizzlepeed, a purloin, a scraggy, a machamp reverse, and <gasps> oh, we got the Charizard shiny. Ah, oh, that is an amazing card. I love this card so much, and I honestly did not expect to get this from the ETB. I haven't had 
much luck from Champions Path, and that is a very nice card. So I'm very happy with that pull. The cut isn't too bad. It's a little bit thicker on the left than the right. But yeah, that's a very nice card. I need to open the sleeves to put that in now before I forget. We'll put that at the back. We'll put that at the back in his Charizard sleeve. It's a very nice card. Again, I'll probably do a recap at the end of what we get from each set. So I'll put these to the side. So far, this ETB has been nicer than usual. Um, I got this ETB at Forbidden Planet um, in Southampton. They sold out now, unfortunately, but it's a very nice card. Yeah, um, we've opened a fair few Champions Path, not as much as other stuff. Um, but yeah, it's definitely one for the collection. We go four from the back. Unfortunately, I'm not selling. Um, I'm quite a collector myself, and that's one of the Charizards we don't have. Um, obviously, if I get a duplicate, maybe I'd offer them for trades. I'm thinking of doing a trade stream one day where I show everyone what I've got on offer and maybe take counter trades for like for like or, you know, promos for promos or Shining Fates shinies for Shining Fates shinies that obviously I need because we've got 45 or 46 sort of shinies we've got left to get. Fighting Energy, a Sonya, a Kabu, a Bidi, Galarian Zigzagoon, a Vulpix, a Rockruff, a Purloin, a Galarian Lanoon, a Hollow Dark Energy, and a Hollow Machamp. So, I'm not really too wide. That, that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, I used to collect when I was younger. Um, I only recently started collecting, sort of again, um, fairly recently. Mainly the newer sets because the older sets are a lot more expensive, sort of X, Y and stuff are a lot more expensive. So it's mainly Champion's Path, um, Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, Vivid Voltage, Battle Styles. Got a lot of chilling rain on pre-order for streams. Um, so yeah, my daughter enjoys collecting it and it's kind of what got me collecting again. Uh, Fire Energy, Team Yale Grunt. Yeah, well, it's a new, well, it's my second stream, so I'd like to continue doing it. I'm going to play games as well and bits and pieces, but obviously it's nice to open cards and other people can see and stuff as well. Team Yale Grunt, a Machoke, a Rotom Bike, a Purloin, a Glare and a Noon, a Sizzlepeed, a Hatena, a Nicket. A scraggy a hollow professor's research didn't realize that was the reverse it's kind of pretty dull not really <laughs> not very obvious uh, we've got three champions path left from the etb and then we've got six pin collections to open up hopefully it'd be nice to get the other charizard but i'm not thinking i'm going to get much else tonight so i'm not too worried i'm just happy we got that it's a nice card for the collection there's a co-card if anyone wants it Get four from the back. Yeah, the Hidden Fates and Shining Fates are definitely my sort of favourites because of the styles. The Hidden Fates is more old school, so. A Psychic Energy. A Great Ball. Absol, which again is a very nice card. I like Absol a lot. Victini, I don't like as much. I've got a lot of Victini cards. Uh, Ekans. Kakuna. A Nicket, a Swablu, a Machop, a Kavahana Reverse, and a Zygarde Hollow. I have all the Hollows. Like I say, there's not many in the set anyway. So, uh, Battle Styles, it's a good set. I think my pools have been kind of lacklustre. I brought a couple of boxes from, I think a couple from Amazon, and the pools were pretty atrocious, to be honest. But... There's a code card if anyone wants it. Let's put that over there. We've got Steel Energy, a Suspicious Food Tin, Sonya, Lipard, Swablu, a Machop, Galarian Zigzagoon, a Vulpix, a Rockruff, a 
reverse Hatterum and a Lycan Rock. Yeah, uh, Hidden Fates is kind of a love hate thing for me, to be honest. <laughs> um, we opened some ETBs yesterday because I noticed the two that I brought, one of them was upside down in this sort of um, sleeve. So I was a bit suspect if it had been resealed or anything like that. So I actually opened them off stream more than wanted to open them on stream. And we seem to be getting quite a lot of the same cards in them. Um, it's not been great for, we've got like four or five of the Ho-Ho's, which I wanted a lot. And now that I've got four or five of them, I don't want so much. Um, but yeah, we seem to be getting a lot of the same shinies in them. Even in the tins, it seems to be the same pools. I don't know if they're printing the same sort of cards over and over again. There's Water Energy, a Beedrill, a Hatchum, a Milo, a Weedle, a Glaring Zigzagoon, a Rockruff, a Full Hill, a Scraggy, a Reverse Trubbish, Oh, and the Full Art Dreadnought V. This ETB has been very nice. I mean, the last few I've had have been pretty dire, um, but this one in its own, I uh, put the Drachi because that was from the Vivid Vault, which I put that to one side for a minute. Um, this ETB itself has been very nice. It's had Dreadnought Full Art, an Elder Gross V, which again, we've got quite a lot, a Charizard V, Shiny, which is a very nice card. A Dreadnought VMAX and a Hop Trainer card. So, all in all, very nice, very nice ETB. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a whole sort of stream where I'm going to show off everything I've got to trade. Um, and then people can DM me or contact me via, I'm going to set my Twitter up tonight or on YouTube and bits and pieces and we can discuss what people want to trade. I mean, obviously, cards have different values. So, if it's like one of my shinies it's worth a bit more than others i haven't got a twitter yet i'm actually going to set it up tonight um i'm fairly new to this so i will set it up and then sort something out so that if it's like <clears throat> we've actually got a spare shining fates charizard we could maybe trade that for a bunch of the other shines that we need so it'd be a good idea i don't think i've seen anyone doing a sort of trade stream so it might be a good idea to get one started maybe it'll start something and people can start trading on twitch um, but yeah, it's something to see for the future. For now, I'm just going to open up these uh, pin collections. I've got six of them, and it's all these. Um, we've got six of these to open, different ones, each of each gym. So we'll open these up, have a little look at the promos, have a look at the pins. My daughter will end up with the pins. We've got a promo folder, so they'll go in there. And we'll see what we can get in these. I've not opened these before, so we might as well open them up, have a little look. A lot of waste packaging and bits and pieces from Pokemon. They've gone a bit overkill with the plastic, I find. When I was a kid, it just used to be a booster box on a, on a normally a game shop counter. Nowadays, it's all plastic and code cards and all bits and pieces. There's a code card for the actual pin set, if anyone wants it. Um, there's the pin which is very pink. My daughter will probably like that one quite a lot. I'll put that to one side for her. And then you've got the promo card, the Glaring Obstagoon, which is nice for the collection. We'll add it to the sleeves and add it to the fold of promos. Um, so yeah, we'll open these up, see what we can get. These are all from the same place. These are all from, I believe I ordered these from Magic Madhouse. So let's see what we can get. And as I say before, I will be doing just code card stream where I rattle off all my code cards for people to take for the online game. That's code card. Get four from the back. Got a fire energy. Ooh, bit of glare there. Absol. A Milo. A Beedrill. A Rockruff. A Potion. A Kavahana. A roly curly. I will try to get some music in the background as well. Obviously, listening to me is not so great. I'm a chop, a hyper potion reverse, and a hat in hollow. These packs only have three in them, 
so we'll probably get through these quite quick but might speed it up a little bit just to get rid of the fodder need to get a bin as well <laughs> there's a code card if anyone wants it one two four please follow um subscribe on youtube if you don't mind just to get my name out there a bit more i'm fairly new to this so it would help me out quite a lot steel energy a pierre's shark pedo a rotom bike a sizzle bead a pokeball inke a vulpix a potion a reverse weedle and a center scorch i'm expecting to get quite a lot of hollows just in these sets um i don't know what the pull rates are i haven't looked at anyone else over in these haven't really looked online so it's just a gamble so we could get Funny enough, the Vivid Voltage, the big rainbow Pikachu that we have, we got from one of the new or newer mutins, not actually from booster packs, like from a box, which I was not expecting at all. There's a Fire Energy, a Biddy, a Team Yale Grunt, a Kabu, a Weedle, a Galarian Zigzagoon, a Roly Coley, a Trubbish, a Volpix. Suspicious food tin and a lichen rock. So yeah, that whole one was a bust really. We'll open up the other five. They're probably gonna be quite similar. I find that these boxes tend to have lesser pools personally, but we'll see. We'll open them up, see what we can get. There's a code card if anyone wants it. Put the three packs there. There's a promo, the Raldon Hollow. These have quite a nice sort of hollow effect to them, these promos, they're nice cards. And then you've got the pin, which again, my daughter will end up with. She's got a whole tin of the things. <clears throat> Open these three packs, see what we can get. Got a lot of Shining Fates coming uh, over the next few days, so we'll be doing a lot of Shining Fates streams. There's a co card. Four from the back. We have a Lightning Energy, Shark Pedo, Hyper Potion. Rotom bike, a machop, purloin, a scraggy, a full hill, a hatiana, a reverse biddy, and a machamp. We'll speed these up a little bit only because they're not as exciting. Um, obviously, if you get a good ball, they're nice, but a lot of the hollows everyone's seen before, there's a lot of the same hollows. So we'll try to speed them up a little bit. Code card. Four from the back. A dark energy, an Arbok, a Beedrill, a Machoke, a Purloin, a Rockruff, Vulpix, a Zigzagoon, Galarian Zigzagoon, a Machop, a Reverse Hatrine, and a Cinnamon V, which I don't have, so that's a nice card. Okay, it's only a V, but I don't have it, so that's a nice card. Code card for anyone. Four from the back. We have a Psychic Energy, Tufnil Stadium, Malamar, Rotom Phone, Kakuna, Ekans, Scraggy, Full Hill, Rockruff, Carvahana, and a Machamp. Machamp seems to be showing his face quite a lot today. <laughs> Like I say, there's only a certain number of hollows and you're guaranteed a hollow, so you get through them quite quick.
Let's code card. I'll just sort these cards out as well quickly after this. There's the pin. It's quite glary on that pin. There's the promo hollow. Promo hollow. The promo dreadnought. Put them to one side. Let me just sort these stacks of cards out quick. Don't want them falling over. Put them to one side. Put them over there. Right, that's better. And we'll open these three packs, see what we can get in here. Then after that, we've got three more pin collections, so another sort of 12 packs to go. Um, like I say, I'll try to speed them up a little bit. Only because there's a lot of the same cards in these sets. There's the promo uh, online code card. One, two, three, four from the back. Grass Energy, Tuffo Stadium, Lipard, a Biddy, a Glaring Lanoon, a Hatena, a Swablu, Scraggy, a Kavahana, a Reverse Vulpix, and a Lycan Rock. One second, I have to plug my laptop in because I forgot to do that. Oh. And I'm back. Sorry about that. There's the code card if anyone wants it. Four from the back. We got Steel Energy, Victini, Arbok, a Rotom Bike, a Weedle, Kakuna, it evolved, Carvahana, a Potion, a Vulpix, a Weedle, and a Lucario V. Again, I don't think I have this card, so that's a nice card. Um, Obviously, not what you're really looking for, but it's still a nice card. Co card. Four from the back. Steel Energy. A Cabu. A Lipard. A Pierre's. Sizzlepede. Glaring Zigzagoon, a Scraggy, a Rockruff, a Vulpix, a Reverse Hop, ooh, and a Rainbow Piers. That's a very nice card. Haven't got that one, so that's also very nice for the collection. So, again, I'll take anything at this point from Champion Spa. So, that's nice. It's a good card. Not many people like Hop. I personally don't like Hop. Um, he was just sort of a mascot in the game. He wasn't really a rival. Not like the old games where he had, like, obviously... Blue or Gary in the original. Um, Hop's just kind of there, annoying me, is what I found when I played the game personally. But um, some people may like him. There's a code card. The promo Elder Gross. Put it to one side. And then the pin, which doesn't glare as much, so that's a good pin. We'll open these three packs. Code. Four from the back. Electric energy, which I believe I called lightning energy earlier, but still. Great ball. Pokemon Center Lady, which is Nurse Joy. Team Yelgrunt. A Glaring Lanoon. A Hatiana. A Swablu. A Scraggy. A Carvahana. A Reverse Great Ball. And Zygarde. I am going to stream games as well eventually, um, so hopefully people tune in to watch that as well, not just sort of Pokemon card openings. 
I'm going to do quite a lot of these if I can. But if I don't get the views and the followings and bits and pieces, then obviously I can't sustain it. Um, Dark Energy, Arbok, Akabu, Suspicious Food Tin, Purloin, Machop, a Nicket, a Trubbish, a Hatena, a Reverse Malamar, and a Professor's Research. Not seen many of them today. Normally get quite a few Professor's Research. There's a code card again. Four from the back. Electric energy. Absol. Great ball. Rotom phone. Trubbish. Full hill. Sizzlebead. Purloin. Ekins. Reverse Vulpix again. And a Galarian Casola V. That's a nice card. It's got a nice art to it. At least it's not sad like the normal Casola, so. I've got two left to go, two pins, collections, so that's six packs, so not much longer today. Please recommend me to friends if obviously they're into their Pokemon card openings and bits and pieces. There's a code card. There's a Center Scorch promo. There's the pimp. And let's open these three packs. There's a code. Four from the back. You got psychic energy. Betty. Machoke. Pierre's Purloin, Ekans, a Potion, a Vulpix, an Inke, a Reverse Hollow Dark Energy, and a Zygarde, which I think is the second Reverse Hollow Dark Energy today, or Hollow Energy. There's a Code Card. Four from the back. We got Grass Energy, Shark Pedo. Oh, I did a spin. Arbok, Hop, Kakuna, Trubbish, Hatena, Inke, a Weedle, a Reverse Trubbish, and an Aglarian Obstacle. Only got four packs left for today, so um, next stream will probably be. Wednesday and I'll do some shining fates as long as they turn up by then um, I've got 96 packs I think coming so won't obviously do them all in the one stream probably two or three streams it's code card if anyone wants it okay four from the back got grass energy a beedrill a hatrim a milo a roly coly glaring zigzagoon a weedle Purloin, a Pokeball, a Hollow Grass Energy, and a Sense Scorch. So two Hollow Energies in that one trainer pin collection. Not great. Would have been nice to have an actual card. Well, they're actual cards, but <laughs> they're not what you're after sort of thing. So still nice to have in the collection. Uh, this is the last pin collection for today. We'll open this up and see what we can get. There's a co card. Then we got three packs. The all creamy promo, which my daughter will love. She loves all creamy. She's got a milsery plush toy she cuddles every night. And there's the pin, which is just, I don't know who designed this, but it just doesn't look like anything really. Um, let's open these three packs and see what we can get. There's a code. Four from the back. We've got Steel Energy. Hatrim. A Beedrill. Oh, bit of glare there. A Hop. 
Hatina, a Trebish, a Kakuna, a Purloin, a Full Hill, a Reverse, a, a Hollow Steel Energy, and a Trina. Ooh. Not great. Only two packs left. Um, obviously, I got the shiny Charizard earlier, so that's always nice, but we'd like to have seen something else from these pin collections. There's a code card. Four from the back. Got a fire energy. A Victini. An Absol. A Great Ball. A Sizzlepeed. A Machop. A Roly Coley. A Full Hill. A Potion. Reverse Center Scorch. And an All Creamy V. Which I believe we have quite a few of, so. Like I said before, I'll try set up some sort of trading stream. I haven't really thought about how to do it yet. Um, be nice to maybe get the community into trading on Twitch. Obviously, we couldn't do it really with lockdown and bits and pieces before, so might be a good idea. See if we can set something up. There's a code card. Four from the back. There's a Steel Energy, a Sonya. A Suspicious Food Tin, a Pierre's, a Nicket, a Hatina, Sizzlepeed, a Nicket, a Purloin, a Reverse Pierre's, and a Zygarde. So that's it for opening tonight. Um, got some good pulls. Obviously a lot of cards I didn't have, so that's a good start. Um, from the pin collections, not so great. The ETB was way better than the pins. Um, if you can get the ETBs, probably the way to go. Obviously, people may differ on that, but personally, I find the ETBs are better than the pin collections from what I got. I mean, I got an old Creamy V. This is from six pin collections. Glaring Corsola V, a Rainbow Pierre's, a Lucario V, an Incineroar V, and that's it from all six pin collections. So, not great. Um, from the ETB, we did way better um so personally i'd go for the etbs we got the jirachi from the vivid voltage at the start of the stream so that's it for tonight next stream I, as i say will probably be wednesday um that will be pokemon card opening shining fates uh charizard where did i So from the first ETB or Channel's Path, these are the cards we managed to pull. We got the Hop Trainer card, full up. You got the Dreadnought VMAX. The Charizard V Shiny, which is a very nice card. One of my favourites. I mean, the promo from the ETB is basically the same card, but obviously this is a Shiny one. Um, Eldegross V. And a Dreadnought V, full up. So again, it's nice pulls. Um, I'll show you the promo just so that you can see it comparing the like that's the two cards so the promo is a very nice card obviously you get that guaranteed in the ETB but the shiny is just that much nicer and obviously worth a lot more than the promo so as I say Wednesday I'll be opening up some shining fates um, and then probably Saturday I'll be playing some games rather than opening cards just to break it up a bit as I'm fairly new to this I need to get my name out there a bit for different bits and pieces so yeah it's been quite a good night for pools um shining fates i have a lot of the set so the pools are not going to be as impressive for me personally but people like to watch them so i'll do them on stream so tune in on wednesday probably about nine o'clock gmt which is uk time that's where i'm based so if you can follow on youtube or subscribe on youtube and again follow on here and thanks very much for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys.